are at the Round Lake Trailhead. Finally made it. After six hours on the road. We're all checked in. Looks like there's almost nobody here. So we're going to have our pickup sites. We're all loaded up. We will neither freeze nor starve on this trip. Rody is very excited to put on his life jacket and get in the canoe. Hey buddy. See, he's all ready. All right, come on, over here. Hop in. Come on, hop in. Up here. Hop in. That a boy. What a good dog. That a boy. Let's see his leash. Yeah, that a boy. You stay right there. Good boy, Rody. Good boy. Good boy, Rody. Very good. What a good boy! set out for but as you can see it's super duper windy and it was a little treacherous we were heading all the way around that corner there but check out what we found this sandy beach looks gorgeous so we're gonna go and uh, have a little explore and make sure that this is gonna be suitable for for our trip for hammocks say okay, bye skies all around. It was ridiculously cold last night. We didn't sleep much, so there will be naps had today. Over here, we've got our coffee. Look at that thing of beauty right there. We're going to drink that. Then we're going to feel a little bit more human after we eat this yummy hot breakfast. Mm -hmm. So here we are fishing. It's Tuesday. We haven't caught anything yet. Have you caught anything yet, Joe? Not yet. I'm using this fancy um, leech or something with a thing on it. What do you call that metal thing, Joe? What? What do you call the metal thing that looks like an eyeball? It's a jig head. A jig head. I'm using a jig head, people. A jig head. Yeah, jig head. Hey, Rhodes. As long as he can rest his 
little head on my foot. Yeah. Stay right there. It's dreamy weather. Where are you wave your crooked wand? Along an icy pond with the frozen moon. Murder of silhouette crows I saw and the raindrops on my window and the skates on the pond they spell Alice I disappear in your name but you must wait for me yeah somewhere are you worried about the story? The story? The story about um, a crazy man who lives in these forests and sneaks up on campers, chops them up, skewers them, and eats them? Well, now I am. You've heard the story, right? I didn't know that was here. Do you believe it? I mean, I think you'd be foolish not to believe it enough to take precautions. Arithmetic, arithmetic. Turn the hands back on the clock. How does the ocean rock the boat? How did the razor find my throat? The only thing that keeps me here is tangled up around the pier. And so I see. Are you filming right now? Mm-hmm. Well, we got an hour left of footage. I know. So we should let people see how um, we camp. Yeah. And this is um, this is expert camping. <laughs> this is how it's done. This is the fine art of relaxation to the... Yeah, lines. I mean... Uh, Les Stroud could learn a thing or two from us. <laughs> the poor guy, he's like... He's always working, he's always he's doing something. freezing in some airplane wreckage and... Yeah. Trying to make fire with a battery. The dude should just pack yeah. a box of matches. Yeah, and some batteries. He'd enjoy himself a lot more, I think. A good steward of nature does not throw cigarette butts on the ground. Puts them in her butt can or into the fire pit, which we intend to burn. A smart student of smoking smokes a pipe <clears throat> and doesn't have that problem. <laughs> it's a bird. But it's hot enough that if you're down at the beach, you could go naked or put on your bathing suit and you'd be perfectly comfortable. So I was just sitting with no shirt on here at the beach when I heard voices. And I turn around and there's some canoers. I get that they had quite the delight. Embarrassing. Right? I couldn't be a nudist because I smoke a pipe and where would I carry it? <laughs> Well, don't even answer that, because, yeah, <laughs> that's not an option. Nope. But, uh, I mean, but... Of the 
busy wife.